Okay, people, I am going to start this video. Um, as you know, I am struggling with my connection and with my computer, but we have to continue. Um, yesterday, yesterday, I didn't have electricity or internet connection, so I couldn't do anything. Today, I'm going to, or I will try to send you three videos related to a review of the Unit 7, Unit 8, and Unit 9. So as you remember, we have exams. Sorry, sorry for the noise. We have exams every two weeks. So on Monday, we have composition again. And on Tuesday, we have written exam. The oral exam will be a video of you. But I will let you know later what is the video about, OK? So I am going to start with a review of the Unit 7. Let me share my screen. I know most of you, so most of you know already this, this grammar, but I am going to review something. So there is it. So the only thing I'm, I'm going to review is the grammar. I am not going to review vocabulary or anything because it's very easy. So we are going to review only the grammar. And this is the first grammar we have in the, in the book. Agreeing with other people's statements, so too, neither in either. Some people were asking when I am going to use the verb to be, when I am going to use the auxiliary. Okay. I am going to read first the, the rules in the grammar. So the first rule we have here is responses like so, so am I, or neither do we, can be used to agree with other people's statement. Okay, if the statement uses the verb to be, in that case, we are going to use the verb to be also in the agreement. If the statement uses another verb that is not the verb to be, we have to use the auxiliary, okay? We are not going to use any other verb here, only the auxiliary. In this case, they are using only I and we, but also I couldn't use, for example, let me give you an example. Imagine that I am talking about she. I have to say, so does she, because it's the third person of the, sorry, third person of the singular. Also, if I say, for example, so with the verb to be is she also, third person of the, of the singular. That happens also with he and with it, okay? So in these cases in the grammar, you are only seeing here I or we, but if you use they, also you are going to use this way. If you use he, you are going to say does or is. Okay. Another rule that we have here is use so in your response when agreeing with an affirmative statement. So am I, so are we, okay. If the statement is positive, positive, if you agree with that statement, that means you are going to use so. So am I, so are we, so does she, so is she, because the agreement is positive. Use neither, you can say neither or neither. Use neither when agreeing with a negative one. So the sentence is in negative, I am going to use neither, neither am I, neither do I, neither does she, neither is he. Okay. If the sentence is in negative, you are going to use neither. If the sentence is positive, you are going to use so. Um, let me clear this. These responses are most common in the first person singular, so do I. Other forms can also be used, neither do we, right? Uh, 
obviously when you are making an agreement is because you agree personally personally with the other person that is why they say the most common is in the first person but remember we can say so does she neither does she so is she um so uh neither neither is she okay it doesn't matter because maybe you are talking about a person that doesn't like neither another or, or the thing that you said that you don't like the tense in the response should match the sentence used in the statements. In these examples, we are using the simple present, right? That is why we are using the verb in the auxiliary in present. But if they say, I both, both is past. So the auxiliary should be past. So did I. I bought my costume for the party. So did I. Uh, let me give you another example. I could say, I was, I was at the beach yesterday. If I want to agree, as I am using the verb to be, anything past, I can say, so was I. Okay, so was she. So, where they to agree what you're saying? Okay. Um, another rule is you can also use this structure to combine two ideas. I like parties. Ali likes parties. I like parties, and so does Ali. And here they are using the third person of the singular. And so does Ali. So you can use this structure to combine two ideas. This is the first idea that I like. I like parties. And this is the second idea. Ali likes party too. In casual conversation, you can use me too with an affirmative statement or me neither. This is the most common way that we agree with a, a person's um, statement. Me too or me neither? Me too should be positive. Me neither is negative. Uh, they can both be used as responses to statement with be as well as other verbs. So you can use, it doesn't matter in the response, you don't use the verb, you don't use the auxiliary, you don't use only, you use the, the pronoun to or neither. I'm going to Amy's party. I have my costume ready. Me too. I don't have my costume. I am not worried about it. Me neither. Um, I went to the beach yesterday. Me too. I didn't go to the beach yesterday. Me neither. So in the response, you don't have to use any verb or any auxiliary. Okay, let me show you something else. Here. Here you have some examples where you can see, and they are using um, different tenses. For example, this is present, 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 and present. They are using the verb to be, and the response, I am using the verb to be positive um, or negative. Um, Sorry, not negative. This is the what does the response mean? Okay. Here we are using the past. I went to the cinema. So did I. Right. Um, so you are not going to pay attention to this. Okay. Don't pay attention to this. Only pay attention to this part. Here we are using the present perfect. You, ha you, you haven't seen the present perfect yet, but just for you to have an idea. And here, this is not a verb. This is the auxiliary for the present perfect. I have been to Italy twice, so have I. That means that this person also have gone to Italy twice. Um, past, the verb to be in past. Future, I will buy a new phone. So will I. 
Remember that here we don't use verbs. Only if you are using the verb to be here, you can use a verb, but if you are using another verb that is not the verb to be, the only thing that you are going to use is auxiliars. So the auxiliar for the future is will. Here you are going to use will, so will I. Neither will I. Okay, so you can practice this part, making more sentences. And I know it's clear, I know it's clear, but you can make more sentences to practice that. Okay. So I am going to finish this part, and then we are going to start with the unit A. 